Hello everyone, great to be here with you this evening. Um, my wife and I got back from New York City today, so I was very excited, really glad that I was able to come back and stream for you guys tonight. This is super fun, um, especially because this may or may not be the finale of Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition Stairway to the Destined Duel. Um, it could be really great. I think I might want to start out with a duel or two. Maybe we can see if we can beat Joey to begin with. Um, and so far, our record is 44 and 10. We have a losing record against Joey, which I hate. Um, and one thing I did want to show you while we're here in the beginning of the duel, I got out my Seto Kaiba chest. There we go. Because <laughs> um, I have another card I want to put in to our thing. And I'm allowed to do this because I have it in real life. And it is this. Force Raider. You've seen so many people with one of these and they have been killing me with it. Um, so I'm going to put one in our deck. Uh, but that'll be the next duel. Okay. So, let's get started. I am excited. I am happy. Um, we saw in New York some of our just dearest friends on this planet. Um, I have a lot of friends who are actors and, you know, because those of you know, some of you know, um, that in my life I have been an actor slash still am an actor um so it was really really great to see them love them so much and uh it was really really great um hey brody how's it going um but yes it was delightful to see them i had such a nice time and i'm happy to be back um just kind of get back into the swing of things all right, so he's got gear freed up here. Um, we're actually in a pretty decent spot because we can just summon Beast of Gilfer and just destroy him outright. I love that. Love these uh, one tribute monsters here. Beast of Gilfer is actually really nice here because he will often have a card that's got 2100 attack or 2000 attack. Um, hoping we don't see a goblin attack for us. That would be very annoying. Uh, but if we do, we do have that negate attack. So we're going to maybe try to even up our record against Joey before this is all over. Because we're 2-4. and four. That's pathetic. Hate to see it. Dark Hole, that's very terrible. Very terrible. But I can take some damage from an Alligator Sword here, because it's not one of his stronger monsters. And I can just destroy it this turn. Um, let's see... Axe of Despair, that was a new one from last time. I'm very excited about that. Um, so what else is going on? I uh, I don't know if anybody caught the Olympic opening ceremonies. Um, I didn't see the whole thing, but um, if you are a fan, you did see one of my favorite bands in the whole world, Gojira. Freaking... <sighs> He ruined my story about Gojira with his Raigeki. Anyway, one of my favorite bands in the world is Gojira, and they're a French metal band, and the, uh, what you call it, the games are in Paris. So they performed with an opera singer, and they did it on, like, the side of a castle with a ton of pyro, and, like, the song they played was popular during the French Revolution. Um, it was so, so cool. And it made me really happy because it put a spotlight on them, and I love them. And hello, Lock Test. Happy Monday to you. Um, and I was really happy because it really put a spotlight on a band that I love. And uh, metal in general, honestly. So I'm going to attack this face down. I don't know what this is. Panther Warrior. All right, all right, we're fine, we're chilling. Um, it will be able to attack next turn, which I don't love, but that's all right. I do have Jinzo in my back pocket. So glad we have Jinzo now. That could really come in handy later. Summon Skull, bad. 
But, all right, I think we're gonna be chilling, maybe. Okay, great. Um, I don't love tributing two monsters all the time, but for blue eyes, we're gonna be doing well. Hold on, what's, go what's going on over here? Brody, you're having fun with the chat, I see. Yeah, Summon Skull is going to be one of his tougher monsters. Luckily, he should not have a Dark Hole or Raigeki to just destroy me instantly. Um, okay, good. Ooh, what I would love so much is to get my... Oh, I wanted to say it. Uh, I'll get rid of Karibo, and we can get rid of Barrel Dragon, because we do have uh, Monster Reborn. I wanted to get my Change of Heart combo. Let's see. Okay. I should have known it was going to be something weaker, but I always hate to risk it. Three second slow mode? I don't even know what that means. Okay. Yeah, this is his 2100 attack monster that I was thinking about earlier, but it's not gonna be anything crazy because we got blue eyes out and... Actually, I'll wait on that. Because he's gonna have something else that will be able to destroy my giant soldier. There we go. We've gotten a pretty good draw this time. I mean, he was able to destroy our entire... Oh, no. Ugh. Freaking time, wizard, man. Freaking time, wizard, man! Yeah, that was terrible. That was terrible, but you know what? Joke's on him. Because I'm going to do this. Goodbye. And I'm bringing back my blue eyes white dragon. He will be back with a vengeance. And we're going to wipe him out. Um, we actually got a really good draw that time. Outside of the time wizard shenanigans. Lovely. Um, okay, so we're now 45 and 10. Um, we're real. I really want to try for this Raigeki. I know it's here in this Dark Magician pack. We've tried so many times because Raigeki is one of the cards that I don't have in real life. Um, so I can't just uh, code it in. Let's see. Not to be. Not to be. That's okay. Because we are. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Um, we are going to do the password on Force Raider here. Let's see. Uh, eight. So hard to read this thing. There we go. Eight, 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 eight. Boom. This will be the mighty Force Raider. 1900 attack, no drawback, just a four-star monster. Really, really good. It's like our Gemini Elf. I think we got one of those in our deck as well. Um, um, <laughs> um, okay, so... We are going to go over here and we're going to make sure our Vorse Raider gets into our deck. Um... Now, oh, we have not put Gemini Elf in our deck. That's amazing. Um, so let's look over here. Um, there's probably something we can take out. I actually did not realize that we still had Fairy of the Fountain in our deck, so that can probably step aside for now. Um, crazy Fish maybe can as well, or Crawling Dragon number two. Um, 
having Gemini Elf and Vorst Raider is going to be really nice. Um, I like Rocket Warrior has that really unique ability that I enjoy. I think Yami is going to be the play to our trunk. Um, there we go. Um, <laughs> say this to get Raigeki. Oh, okay. Well, hey, hopefully I do. Um, all right. Um, all right, so one thing I wanted to do is we only have to fight one more ghoul. So I kind of wanted to try and get the ghoul to show up. Uh, we can maybe... I'm going to try to even our record against Joey. And then I'm going to try to like draw out the, duel by, the ghoul by talking to some passengers. And then we might be able to beat the game. Let's see. All right. Let's hope our draw is as uh, lovely as it was last time. Um, there we go. That's fine. Yeah, sure. Ah. Uh, hold on. Um, yes, actually. We're going to negate attack. I don't know if it'll still go in defense mode now. It does not. That's really annoying, actually. Um, Brody, I'm not doing Raigeki unless we got it in real life. That's my rule. Um, let's see. I am just going to hope that he plays another monster, and that way I can just Torrential Tribute everything off the field. And he does! <laughs> He'll eBay me. <laughs> no, I ain't cheating. I ain't cheating. I really liked that established rule. That was a really fun rule we came up with that one time. Oh, uh, can I play anything? Yes. Mechanical Chaser is a lovely card. Lovely. Good start. Alrighty. Do, 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 do. Goblin attack force once again. It's such an annoying card because it goes to defense mode with its zero defense. Um, <laughs> not honorably, my friend. Um, I probably I could use Moss Reborn. Um, that might be a little bit of a waste to use it now on Mechanical Chaser. Let's just, let's just see. Let's just see what we can do. Alright, so one thing I will do is I'm going to take that damage from Gear Freed, but I'm going to use my Spellbinding Circle on Goblin Attack Force, um, because that'll make it so it can't put itself back in attack mode. So it'll just take advantage of that zero defense that it has. So that's at least something. Um, okay. Alrighty, alrighty. That won't get above Gear Free, but we can destroy the Goblin. And... I actually don't know how many turns it goes into defense mode, but... It's gone now. Lovely. If I could get Barrel Dragon into the graveyard... And then use Monster Reborn, that would be great. Especially because... This is gonna kill the Dark Witch. I need a nice draw here, kids. That'll work, at least for now. Oh, yes, it will, baby. Yes. Yes, that was a great draw, because now I finally have something to take out of the graveyard, and that will be Summon Skull. Back in the day, uh, in the first season of the anime, Yugi used to go, Reborn the Monster! instead of Monster Reborn. I always thought that was weird. Season one of the anime is very weird. Oh no. Okay, this is fine. I'll take this. I just didn't want him to sacrifice Summon Skull. Oh, I know, I'm so sorry I put your babies in a box. That's so true. Um, hmm. Okay. 
change of heart can come in handy. I'm gonna try to attack and hopefully not die. And that did not work well, but yes it did. Hooray. I don't have many more life points to sacrifice, but that is amazing. All right, so we just gotta survive. One more turn, come on, gang. Come on. Lovely. A mystical space typhoon would be excellent. Okay, Dispel. Um, I'm actually gonna use Dispel, because this is an interesting strategy. Dispel can only destroy a magic or a spell card. And if it's face down, you can look at it. And if it's a trap card, you still get to see what it is, but you don't destroy it. And it is Magic Arm Shield. I actually forget what that does. I'm pretty sure there needs to be another monster on the field for that to work. So we should be fine. Hooray! Victory! Victory indeed. And that evens up our record against Joey. I love that. Okay, good. All right, here we go. Raigeki, it's coming right now. Right now. You ready? <sighs> Still nothing, but that's okay. Stop, I dropped one of my contacts. Don't move, don't even, wait, I found it. You can move now, thanks for your help. <laughs> it's a lot of beautifully random stuff. And that actually gives you like, some advice on how to build your deck. It says that you can only, the minimum amount of cards that you can have is 40. Um, I know, oh, target week, that's fun. All right, who are the two targets? We might not care about target week this week. I think we've done it before. Um, especially if we're, if we're trying to beat the game tonight, we can't waste time with target week. Um, let's see, it is Esperoba and Rex Raptor. In case we do happen to see them, I don't see them anyway. Ah, they're talking about the ghouls there. Yeah, we've pretty much gotten everything good that we can out of the Duelist Weekly. Really, the big one is the Dunamis Dark Witch, which I think we have three in our deck at this point. There is Rex Raptor. I don't know if we want to give him a shot right now. Um, it'd probably be pretty simple. And that'll give us five. Yeah, let's let's fight Rex. We can fight. Oh! Okay, this is, might be our last ghoul, actually. Oh, that was a good decision to fight Rex. What we got? Ah, oh, it's Odeon again. Oh, that's interesting. Because we cannot progress to the last portion of the game until we fight all of the ghouls. And we have already fought Odeon. Um, that's so interesting. Um, all right, we... Trap Hole, Giant Soldier of Stone, that is just such a good starting set for your first turn. Let's see what he's got. Slate Warrior, that's not going to get through. Um, oh, actually, it's definitely not, because I'm going to destroy it. Huzzah. Okay. Oh my goodness. Drawing Jinzo this early against Odeon is so good. <laughs> Because you see all these trap cards up here? He can't use those with Jinzo on the field, so we are just going to do that. Um, incredible. Ooh, emote only mode. How fun. Okay. Um, but he might still have a sneaky monster. Um, let's try this. Okay, Torrential Tribute will be good to have as like a safety measure. Um, all right, we're gonna do this, and we're actually gonna complete our turn for now, because I don't want to attack a face down monster that's gonna destroy my Jinzo, even though he now has two on the field. Let's see. That could come in handy as well. Um, well, I guess I'm gonna take my chances with one. So I'll have to anyway. Okay, that's fine. He hasn't used any magic cards yet. Excellent. That works 
works out. If he does not... Oh, that sucks. That sucks a lot. Uh, okay. I do still have a Monster Reborn lurking in my deck if I want to get Jinzo out. Okay, Mask of Darkness. Um, let's see. Probably gonna get destroyed somehow, but we'll see what happens. Fairy Box. I forget what this does. I think it negates his life point damage if the coin is correct. Um, but it also costs life points for him to keep it out on the field, so that could become an advantage for me. Like so. Oh my gosh! And then he gets my Jinzo. I do have Fissure, though, in my hand, so that's actually really nice. Um, da -da -da -da. <laughs> um, let's see. I love that. Ooh, nope, that was a misplay. I could have won this turn. If I just did Change of Heart and played my seven colored fish, we'd have been golden. Gosh dang it, guys. I hate that. I hate that misplay. Um, but let's see what happens. <laughs> he does still have to keep his fairy box out on the field. And it did not even work again. That's lovely. Okay, perfection. Let's see. Um, oh, this is going to be perfect, actually. Giant True Nade, baby. That just sends all of the Magic and Trap cards back to our hands. Just clears the field for a turn. Boom. We win! Huzzah! Gorg, I must not fail! There we go. Um, oh, here's that Legendary Fisherman. That's the Mako Tsunami card. That's such a cool card. Um, I love Fortress Whale. That's another Mako Tsunami card. That was a really cool episode of the anime. Um, I just love looking at these cards in the rare pack that we get. Um, so now, let's, let's see what we can do here. Um, we still have time tonight. Um, I'm kind of giving up on the target week now that we had to fight Odeon. Um, but let's see. Oh, we do have the championship. We're gonna, we're gonna call it on that. Let's see. Because if you're just joining us, what we're doing is we are just going through passengers trying to get the um, dialogue that will sometimes show up um, saying, this is an urgent announcement. Watch out for these rare card hunter do uh, ghoul type figures. Um, because usually when that comes up and then when you talk to another passenger, you will be able to fight one of them. So we're kind of just... Um, grinding at this point to get that message to show up. Um, unsuccessfully, I might add, right now. Um, because we have fought every ghoul but one, and we are going through the weeks quickly here. I love this. Here it is. Urgent announcement for all participating duelists. There have been several reported incidents of card robberies occurring in various parts of the city. We ask that you be careful. Reports indicate that members of the ghouls are hidden among passerby. We ask that you exercise extreme caution when moving from area to area. A package containing rare cards will be awarded to anyone cooperating in the arrest of these culprits. We thank you in advance for your cooperation. It very well might be, Brody. We'll have to see. Um, because I have to beat the last ghoul, like the last duel, um, and then there is like kind of a boss rush to beat the game. Um, so still nothing. Let's see. You, usually they'll show up like the next passenger that you talk to after that announcement. Um, 
So what if I do this? No, still nothing. That's very interesting. Um, because I think every time that we've done it, it's been the case. Okay, here it is. Excuse me. Would you please hand over your rare cards? It would be wise to do as I tell you. Arcana! This is so interesting, because we still have not fought all of them. Wow. Uh, we have one left to fight, and we still haven't uh, fought him. Hold on, I have to update our record. We're 47 and 10 now. Um, Arcana's not great. Um, the best one that we're going to fight usually is uh, Odeon. So, being able to beat him is really nice. Now that we have Jinzo, it's going to be a lot more consistent. Raigeki's terrible, obviously. Um, is this the trap or the magic one? This is the magic one. Hooray! Excellent. Um, all right. That's so great to negate a magic card for like one turn, and then I'm just like, dude, I'm not dealing with that again. Um, let's see what this trap or face down card is gonna be. Oh, it's even. Wow, was not expecting that. Um, let's see. If it is, what will the what will be next is the second series. Um, I'm not entirely sure yet. I have a light plan as to what the second series is going to be if this is not in fact if this is in fact the end of Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition uh, although it's not really looking like it's gonna be if I'm being honest um, because I thought we were gonna be able to find the last rare hunter pretty early on um, but that is not the case oh Call of the Haunted Call of the Haunted is basically just Trap card monster reborn. Kingdom Hearts, we, we're gonna play Kingdom Hearts on this channel. That's gonna happen. That's gonna happen. It's gonna be great. Um, this is fine. Let's use Torrential Tribute. Um, but I don't know exactly when we're gonna play Kingdom Hearts, Brody. Um, because, yeah, we're. We are knee-deep in the Battle Frontier stuff in Emerald as well. That's so much fun. I was hatching more eggs today, and I still couldn't find the right one. Um, when we got back, I just did a little bit of egg hatching before stream. I was helped by a viewer um, on something that made the whole process way easier, um, which was really, really nice. Um, great. And as you can see, Arcana, he's not that good. Like, he's got some Dark Magician. His whole thing in the anime against Yugi was that he was, like, another Dark Magician guy. Um, and he was all sneaky. And this is a fun one, actually. He actually, in, I think, the Japanese anime, had, like, a razor blade that was gonna cut Yugi's legs off if he lost the duel, but then it was changed to be like a dark disc <laughs> that would send him to the Shadow Realm. It wouldn't cut off his legs, it would just send him to the Shadow Realm, um, which was very interesting little bit of uh, localization censorship. Um, okay. So let's actually do this. We're gonna get Summon Skull here in on the action. Here it is, crazy fish. I said, hey. Um, we very well could go all in on Emerald Brody. I don't know if there will be a side series after we finish Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I, I do still have some other games that I know might not be as popular, but ones that I love that I wanna play. Um, so we'll see. We'll see, it's pretty, it's pretty up in the air. Um, and this is probably going to be curtains for this fella, especially once I get Fisher up here. Boom, baby, goodbye. And then Summon Skull will finish us off. 
per action. There we go. Oh, there's that Jinzo! We finally got it in-game, so that's cool. Um, if you recall, we uh, used our code to get the Jinzo in because I actually had it. And yeah, just other just great cards. So that's Arcana. And now we're kind of in a peculiar spot. Um, I feel like maybe we could still beat the game tonight. Let's see, let's see what we can do. Um, is there anyone that I have a losing record against? Because uh, we fixed that against Joey, which is great. We might have a losing record against Kaiba or Yuki. Yes, we are one and two against Seto. Let's try to fight Seto so we can even our record. We should be able to. And as we've talked about before, he should pop in here. There we go. And he's going to disrupt Mokuba. Great. As you can tell, I never try the rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> I just pick rock until something happens. Because I don't really have much of a preference on if I go first or second, if I'm being honest. Um, nice trap hole defense mode to start the game is always lovely. Always lovely. Oh my gosh. Harpy's Feather Duster is a really good card. Um, oh, my two least popular videos are Yu-Gi-Oh! Your fans hate it. Hey, man. Hey, man. I gotta give some for you and some for me. It's, it's a, we have a, we have a relationship here. Um, let's see. I don't, I, tr I, I really try to not do Yu-Gi-Oh! too much. Let's see. We're just gonna go on an all-out offensive here while we can. I know that we're not gonna be able to do much. Or, er, he's definitely gonna destroy one of these monsters on our next turn, but... We can get a nice little chunk. Alright, that's fine. Our giant rat can still destroy the goblin attack force. Ooh, Axe of Despair is always great. Ooh, this is good. My favorite combo. Ah, you like Yu-Gi-Oh, so you're a true fan. Hey, that's good. Um, I appreciate that. And you know, I always, I always figure there is some crossover between the like classic era of Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon fans. Um, at least if I compare compare other people to myself. <laughs> what? A... All right, that's easy peasy. That might have been the quickest duel against Kaiba we have ever had. Um, that was glorious. Goodbye, sir. Humph, you sure did lose, brother. Brother. Let's try Dark Magician again, Raigeki! No, we did get a couple magic cards though. Um, all right. So that does even our record against Kaiba. That's great. We are 49 and 10 now. We're closing in on 50 victories. Um, we might be able to get another shot at the ghoul. We still have some time. I think we might be, we might still be able to do it. Might still be able to do it. I'm not gonna give up just yet. Let's see, excuse me. I'm burping all over the place. Um, oh yeah, I don't think I was able, or was I able to talk about this? Yes, yes I was. Um, last week my wife and I made sushi. Um, or not, not necessarily su sushi. We didn't have it raw fish, but we made like sushi like rolls. We made, uh, just with like tempura, sweet potato, um, and like avocado, stuff like that. Um, and we had a bunch of leftover stuff from that for when we got back from New York. And that was really nice to have for dinner. 
Um, ooh, Judge Man. I do really like Judge Man. I remember Kaiba plays this uh, card, I think, in like the anime pilot. Um, I always thought it was really cool. Not much else to say other than that. Um, my Rotuno, baby. So now we are at least 500 against everybody, I think. Um, we might be under 500 against Yugi. Um, if we see him again, we might give him a shot. Um, let's just keep being over here. Esperoba, we 3-0. and Yeah, we've beaten Truesdale quite a few times. Yeah, he's kind of one of those duelists that uh, when you're early in the game and you really need to get yourself some good cards. All right, here's our announcement once again. I'm really hoping that we can get the last one here. Ah, there's Yugi. And we are 2-1. and one. Okay, so we are 500 or better against every duelist, I believe, so far. So that's awesome. So let's see if we can get this last ghoul. All right, not this time. All right, I don't care about target week right now, brother. I'm trying to beat the game here. All right. Let's see. Not this time. They'll, sh they'll show up. It was it was like this when we were trying to find uh, the last one. Ah, oh, Sword Arm of Dragon. I remember Rex Raptor has this card because it's a dinosaur card. It's not good, and and he's not good. So, it all makes sense. All right. Um, here? Not yet. I am really excited to show you who the last ghoul is. Um, because it has a really nice anime connection. Um, let's see. Here it is. Come on. Dang it. Dang it, guys. Strings again. Oh my goodness. My goodness gracious. Oh, people do like it. How about that? Um, well, that is a little bit frustrating because I really wanted to uh, show you all the end of the game here shortly. I don't know if we'll be able to get there tonight now. Um, but it will be nice to show off strings again. I kind of talked about him. Okay, Nightmare Steel Cage is a lot like, um, whatchamacallit, Swords of Revealing Light, where you can't... Oh, I can use Repeal Order. Yes. Um, where you can't attack with it on the field. Okay, unfortunately, it is going to stay on the field, so if I want to keep... Um, yes, I will have to pay the 700 life points. Let's see about that for now. Let's try it. Um. Alright, we can probably, we can probably... Oh, Humanoid Slime 2000. All right, so this is not looking good right now. <laughs> Let's see what he's got. That's okay. We'll take that. I'm not going to waste my Mirror Force on that. Um, there are some other monsters that are going to be more useful. But we are going to go ahead and not pay for that. Um, because we can just use D spell anyway. Boom. Lovely. It all worked out in the end. Um, perfect. So things aren't necessarily going completely according to plan against strings here, but. Oh my gosh, with Dark Hole. And I'm not wasting my mirror force on this either, dude. I might go ahead and do that, though. Let's see what we got. Ah, Force Raider. Love to see it. That's our new card, baby. Taking him out for a spin. Yeah. 
And it is annoying fighting those cards that have more than 1,900 that are four stars, but they all have drawbacks, like we've kind of discussed before. Um, we're just gonna chill, maybe. Or, no, I'll attack. I'm feeling, I'm feeling frisky. I'm just gonna go for it. And I paid dearly. <laughs> oh, no. I don't mind this. Um... Because I can just send these two back to his hand. There we go. Please, let me draw something I can play! Oh, I can play that. And still nothing. That's annoying, though. Ay, ay, ay. I got frisky with Vorse Raider. I'll use Backup Soldier. Um, absolutely I do. Hooray! I will go ahead and use Mirror Force here, though. I'm kind of glad I held on to it to get rid of that. Um, and one great thing that will definitely happen at some point, like, like Giant Rat, obviously, is 1400 attack. Let's say he plays a monster that can destroy a giant rat, which he didn't. Uh, but let's say he plays an 1800 attack monster that can destroy a giant rat. I could then play, like, Giant Soldier of Stone with Axe of Despair, and that gives it 2300 just right off the bat. Um, so it could, be a, it could be a really good swing for you in a duel. Um, and that's why I really wanted to get it in our deck. That's good. I'd love to see that. <laughs> What's the poll? Uh, Ziggy, 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 or Zigzagoon? I'm gonna go Ziggy, all caps. That works for me. Um, ooh, I couldn't play the Black Luster Ritual. Maybe. Let's see, let's see what happens. Um, I'm gonna stick with this for now. Yeah, we're kind of we're kind of cooking low and slow against strings here, especially since he just got his nightmare steel cage back. Hate to see it, um, but we'll see what we can do. All right. Yeah, we're kind of just vibing. There's not a ton we can do right now. I'm just gonna do that. Ah, yes, the Jam Breeding Machine. Um, really just perfection. Um, I actually do want to keep that out. I don't mind just letting Nightmare Steel Cage get destroyed. It, that only works for two turns. Swords of Revealing Light um, works for uh, three, but uh, that only works for two. Um... Kind of a weird spot here. I'll just set Giant True Nade because I know he just summoned that really strong monster, but I just want to see what it is first. Um, we probably can't attack this guy to the left. Um, great. Um, oh wow, the pole is split. That's so interesting. That was a two tribute monster that he laid down. He's just not just not flipping it face up for whatever reason to destroy our giant rat or our crawling dragon. Strings is weird in this game, I find. Like, some of his strategies just don't makes sense. <laughs> um, but let's see. That's helping us for now. So let's play you. Oops. Blue main phase two. There we go. Um, Alright, we're just gonna do this. 
I'm gonna play the Black Luster Soldier. Get Barrel Dragon out of here, and we'll get rid of our Giant Soldier. Because I feel like whatever's face down is not gonna be able to kill our Black Luster. Yeah, baby. Oh, I love that card. It's the coolest artwork ever. Man, I love it. Um, sometimes the artwork just really makes it. It's in just like such a cool pose, like holding his sword. Um, really, really awesome. I want. I just want to know what that face down card is. I am straight up. Okay, this is great. I'm going to just grab it here because I just want to know what it is. Oh, it has a rerun. How fun! Um, I could summon Jinzo, but I'm not going to. Because Black Luster Soldier has more than enough attack to get us the win against this slime token. Goodbye, sir. We need a tiebreaker. Is it Ziggy, Ziggy, or Ziggy? I don't know. Someone's gonna have to hop in here and, and decide. I already voted. Oh! We got a couple nice cards here. First of all, another one of my favorite uh, ritual monsters. We have the Masked Beast. This was a special card that Loomis and Umbra used in the anime. Really sick, really like messed up, like netherworld creature. Love it. Um, but more importantly, we got this great trap card, Magic Cylinder. Negate the attack of one of your opponent's monsters and decrease your opponent's life points by an amount equal to the attacking monster's attack. So if you are taking an attack from something super strong like Blue Eyes White Dragon, just direct that puppy right back at your opponent. It is lovely. Lovely. That's going directly in our deck. Um, we gotta go to the trunk. Oops, that is not what I wanted. Um, there we go. That will work nicely. Um, so, it looks like we're not going to be able to beat the game tonight, which is annoying. But, I am excited. We can do this little championship. This is going to be really nice. Um, I feel like we did one of these early on against Taya. Um, and I remember it being really tough. I think we, uh, we did win... <laughs> We did win two to one. That's so funny. Um, tiebreaker. Oh, oh, okay, I see. Um, I'm, I'm still gonna go there. Here we go. Let's see. Um, it is very funny. I was just laughing because we have... Uh, freaking Mokuba <laughs> as our opponent for this championship, so it might be a little anticlimactic. But we can get another good four-star monster out of these Saturday tournaments that we have not gotten yet. Um. <laughs> That's funny. You were able to just use your channel points. That's so funny. Um, uh, yes, sorry, I'm losing track of my duel. I will send your terrible monsters back to your hand. Oh, it didn't even kill the penguin soldier. That's crazy. That's so funny. Um, so in comes Jinzo, baby. Unfortunately, Mokuba doesn't have a lot of trap cards. I'm pretty sure Mokuba does have one Raigeki, Raigeki though. I also love how just regular old Ziggy was the one who won the won the poll. Nope, just a 700 attack monster, just chilling, getting ready to get smoked. Uh, excuse me, once again. Lovely. Oh, is SCG cool? Oh, I know how I'm gonna vote. No. Um, I'm gonna vote no, maybe. Because I'm cool sometimes. You know? I'm cool sometimes. 
Oh my goodness with the time wizard stuff. Okay, good. Because <laughs> Mokuba's terrible, but he does have just a few of those sneaky, sneaky strats up his sleeve with time wizard or blue eyes ultimate. There we go. Alright, that is fine. You say all that you want to, Mokuba. We're still gonna kill you. There we go. So, one thing that we are looking for once we... Um, once we do finish Mokuba off here is we are looking specifically for a ca card called La Jin, the Mystical Genie of the Lamp, um, which is a uh, kind of a pretty iconic card. <laughs> oh, a lot of no's in there, huh? That's funny. Um, I do have Torrential Tribute, but I don't want to use that. Oh, hello, Arena! Hi! Subscribe for two months! That's so cool! Thank you! Um, we're just getting into some Yu-Gi-Oh here. I was thinking that maybe we would be able to beat the game tonight, but um, you have to, like, find specific characters to duel to do that, and I just was not able to find them. Um, it was... Not going my way, but it's still been a delightful stream. We were really e uh, able to get some revenge on some of the people that were abusing us early on in our playthrough. Um, yeah, we fine there. How's your day going, Arena? Mokuba is deeply terrible. So there we go. Are you nuts? Don't you believe in holding back? Um, you just got home from work. Lovely. Um, let's see. Alright, so we are looking for La Jin. Let's see. Do we find him? No La Jin. We do got another Rocket Warrior, so that's cool. Um... I was saying earlier, Arena, we just got back from New York today, which was cool. Um, it was a pretty, like, simple journey, all things considered. Um, and it was such a good time. I just love those people there. Um, so, all right, so here we can maybe... I'm going to see if we can get above 500 against Joey. We should be able to. Um, hey, you wanna play me? You got nerve challenging me. Oh! Oh, I forgot that Joey and Mai had this little thing going on. Oh, nice. <laughs> I forgot that Mai jumps in here. So I guess we're dueling Mai. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is delightful. Um, hold on, I gotta update. We're 51 and 10 after those two uh, victories against Mokuba. Um, yeah, I guess I'm not cool, Brody. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Um, okay, so let's see here. Not a good start, but I do have some great traps. Um, so let's see how this goes. Um, yeah, we'll just stick with trap hole for now. Alright. Still nothing I can play, so we're probably just gonna have to continue to chill. Let's see. I could have used Monster Reborn there, but I didn't want to waste it on a Harpy's brother. It's not that great. But here is going to be our first instance of that magic cylinder that I talked about. 
and these 1800 attack uh, life points that I was going to take is just going to be right back directed at her. So that's lovely. Um... We can still negate attack. Yeah, this is a really weird draw. I really don't enjoy it, actually. Especially because I don't really trust that trap card that she's got down there. Um, my famously had a card called Mirror Wall in the first season of the anime. That was really tough. Um, that's probably actually going to work because we're going to... Oh, is Brody cool? Hmm... Y, E, or S? What does S stand for? I'm going to say Y, because I assume that means yes. <laughs> uh, okay, I really hope she plays another monster so we can activate that Torrential Tribute. Hooray. That'll destroy everything. Oh! Ah, oh, that feels so nice. Love it. Mm. All right. Ah, I see. I see now. I see, now you're slick. Um, oh man, I really hate this. That's all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna play the long game. Because we're gonna take this attack from Harpy's brother here, but I'll be able to easily destroy it with a Fisher. So that's not too terrible. And great, I can even destroy that face down. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my Monster Reborn play. Um, because she has some good 1800s, um, but I'm actually gonna use that to get my Beast of Gilfer out. There we go. So now, unless she gets like a Dark Hole or something, which I know that is exactly what she's gonna play next turn, <laughs> uh, we should be fine, but let's see. Ooh, rising air current. Okay. Very annoying. Hopefully we can get a D spell. Um, let's Ooh, I do have giant true nade. That's lovely. I'm gonna hang on to that actually. For when I can hopefully deplete her life points. <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll chill. Yeah, this has been a real long gamer for my... There we go. Now, I do have Mirror Force in my back pocket in case she plays something, like, really strong. Excuse me, wow. Don't be something terrible. Okay, great. Just the regular old harpy lady. When I was a kid, I can't remember a uh, like a cyber harpy card. I think it was like a special like tournament pack card. I do remember the regular harpy lady, like the weaker one. Um, so yeah, harpy's feather duster not good for me, but you know what? You know what? We are gonna we're gonna do. <laughs> We're gonna do the swag finish here, and we're just gonna play Black Luster Soldier because I want to. Hmm. <laughs> With style points, let's do it. Um, lovely. Fifty-two and ten. And this will finally this will give us one more chance to pick up that Raigeki. Ooh, or what's in that pack? Is there anything I want out of that? Um. Um, yeah, or let's see what's in here. Oh, wow, nothing good, actually. Oh, Magic Arm Shield is not too terrible. Um, I probably won't use it, though. I do like Zoa. I think that's a cool card. Um, let's see. All right, what's my fave? Ah! Out of all of the uh, series that I've done thus far, what is my favorite? Um, I'm not a 
entirely sure. I Pokemon Crystal's my favorite game, but I'm gonna say Emerald. I think Emerald has been the most fun. Um, I think it's been a really good, it's a really solid playthrough altogether. Like catching Melodic was really fun. Catching the Regis was really fun. Really, really cool. Oh, I blew Target Week. Shucks. Um, well, all right, folks. So I thought we were gonna be able to beat the game tonight. We did not. That's okay. Um, so I think next time we play Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm really gonna try to make it the last episode. As you can see, it did not cooperate with me tonight, but uh, we'll probably try to get like that optimal experience, you know. Um, but other than that, this has been delightful. Thank you for being here with me tonight, folks. It's nice to be back. Um, nice to be chilling and playing video games with you all. I, you know, I always enjoy it. Um, if you're watching this later, thank you. Thanks for watching with me live tonight. And I will see you all, I'll see you Wednesday, normal time for more Emerald Battle Frontier stuff. All right, folks. Peace. Have a good night. Have a good week. Love you.